Check the coastline how it looks like. All those small resorts are mixed with the villages, and the villages, of course, are a little bit messy. But as you see from this scene, it looks very good already. It looks beautiful. Well, yeah, it's like Mission Mash. But over here, we're gonna have this beautiful Gumasa Beach. Long thread of the white sand. One of the longest stretches, I guess, here in uh, Rolling Mindanao, maybe even. But yeah, it is good. Deep, all the way there. And of course, open ocean. And it's also beauty and value. Yeah, the water, too, this one. Finally clean water. Well, here we are. <laughs> Beginning of this uh, beautiful white sand beach stretched over the, over this uh, Gumasa. Yeah, Gumasa Bay maybe I can call it. But here we have open ocean. Yeah, beautiful. And the Mati could be also beautiful. I'm gonna check later. Yeah. White heaven and so on. Well. Yeah, indeed. It's a beautiful place. Hello! Hi! Beautiful place! Gumasa! <laughs> well, yeah, beautiful place. We're gonna go a little bit uh, this side and eat my coconut and then I'm gonna enjoy the beautiful beach for, for some hour or two maybe. I wanna find some coconut. That could be good. Uh. Oh, I don't see the coconuts.
Yeah. When it's gonna be open? Because the uh, resort is really close because the management of the tourism going here. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So that one is closed. Could be a little bit uh, problematic still with those restrictions. Yeah. And what is here? Hello. How about beach access? Uh, no, sir. We are closed for today. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Well, still COVID in the year, so no beach resorts. Okay, let's go for the wild beach then. That's gonna be even much more better. Yeah, still uh, COVID management. So, typical to deal with the uh, resorts. But, uh, yeah, always have a chance to go for the wild beach. You can find us the right spot. Well, if resorts are closed, what could be better than to go and explore everything in the clean, pristine nature as it is with other resorts? Yeah, doggies. Okay. So let's settle down here. Looks good. Go. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna fly drone then. That reminds me of the Bali. Each time when I land in the Bali, I go directly to the uh, Jerman beach, it's called. Very close to the airport. 15 minutes and I'm <laughs> on the beautiful beach. Well, yeah, white sand beach makes the miracles. Nothing much to say. And this one is in such a beautiful place. It's nearly uh, open sea. And, uh, Water is clean, there's no big cities here, there's no pollution, the small villages, well, nature can absorb small villages. Oop. Hey, hey. 
but in general, yeah, beautiful place. Mm. Ah. Whoa, guys, come on. That's ultimate bliss. And main understanding that that's clean one. You're gonna go on the beautiful Panglao, but there's so many islands around. How clean this water could be, yeah? And it's more or less big cities, towns. So there's pollution. But here, small villages, small towns. Yeah. Such a bliss. Well, I'm happy today. The weather is good. We'll be able to travel back to Bigos. Which is around 150 kilometers, yeah, some distance. I'm gonna manage maybe in uh, four hours. I'm gonna spend one hour in this beach more and then I'm gonna be good to go. But I'm very happy that I visit this place. Such a beautiful long stretch of the beach. Yeah, nature phenomenon. When we talk about the beaches, uh, there's so many nice places. The thing is pollution. You're gonna go in island of Cebu, well, it's good, but uh, there's a buzz all around and yeah, water is not that clean. One side is sea, other side is ocean. Yesterday I was visiting the other side of the bay and it was good, but not that good as this one. This is phenomenal, like, uh, exceptionally good place, yeah. Blue green water. This tree, so the tree was not plastic. Other places you're gonna go, you know, plastic here and there. And here. And Hello. Hello. Beautiful fisherman. Wanna go for the swim? No? Too hot? Too hot! Too hot, yeah! Well, it's okay for me. I'm gonna go enjoy the water. No plastic. Such a beauty, just a leaf, you see? Such amazing, yeah. Clean environment. Well, there is some more. Not that much. Mm, beautiful weather, beautiful beach. Very, very happy that I managed this one today. If you look on the maps, this looks like so long, beautiful white sand beach. Well, guys, I will say, in the real life, this doesn't disappoint you. It's even better, I will say, than this looks on the maps. Sometimes you see in the maps is nice white sand beach and you come over, it's kind of gray. This one is kind of gold in the white color. Beautiful. Gumasa. Gumasa. But it's kind of interesting that there is no typical mess. Sometimes you see uh, fishermen villages and they look very, very messy. This one, that one it looks amazing. It looks pristine. No roosters, some stray dogs, which is very important for your pleasant time. Peace. All the best things that you can do, come over here with your yacht, park it, enjoy the beautiful bay, take a ride with dinghy with different uh, small bays, that's going to be the best. Uh, we're going to soak up the sun for some 30 minutes more, we're going to go for the swim. And then it's gonna be it for this beautiful place. So next time, we want to see the difference between this one and Mati. Very interesting to see which one is better. Which is more uh, beautiful by the nature.
so many islands, Indonesian islands, so many beautiful places. 17,000 islands in Indonesia, 7,000 in the Philippines. Ooh, there's so much things to, to, to explore. And this is just the only one region. And then you go uh, around Africa, around uh, Madagascar, and then Caribbean islands. Uh, the most beautiful coast in the world. And then of course here, if you're gonna go back in Asia, Vietnam, and of course Thailand. Uh, so many beautiful places. The way how you can enjoy those places, which could be the best possible way, either by boat, either by bikey traveling around, you need to figure out by yourself. For me, I guess I spend a lot, a lot of time traveling by bike. Uh, later I'm going to be traveling by boat. But for now, yeah, bike. And uh, stopping in different places. I stop in one place and stay for one month. I stop in another place and stay one month. And then after this long stay, I have a clean understanding of what kind of values is is in this place, this place are able to deliver you. Because if you stop like you, for example, only one day, will you be able to see uh, and understand uh, how clean is water here? What's happened here with, uh, with the waste management? So will you be able to see and understand how local people treat the nature? How the local, local people treat other people? All those things take time, you need to stay one month at least in order to understand all the ins and outs. And that's what I do. I slowly travel, stay in one place, another place. And if the place kind of is uh, attractive and very good, well yeah, I plan my next stay there. Like for example, Panglao. Well, always happy to go back in Panglao and spend some time. Beautiful place, beautiful beaches. Yeah, and Mala, four miles long, beautiful place. Amazing beach. Only one minus, the clean sea and ocean is here, yeah. The Malan is beautiful it is, so many close, close proximity to the cities and other islands, the water is not that clean. And there's also a really field, many, many big resorts. Oh well, yeah, see, industrialization, something good from industrialization, industrialization, something bad. Yeah, of course, if it's properly made, all the sewage systems work, that's okay, but if they are not working properly, yeah, then yeah. Ooh, well guys, I'm gonna go for the swim, I'm gonna dip. Humongous tree. much more you need in life sun sand water that's it <laughs> but in combination together
morning angel. <laughs> This side, yeah, over there, rain. I was flying drone and I see like a drop, it's like flying fast camera. Once you see and understand the best places and what they can deliver you, you are uh, will be satisfied. You know that you uh, you get the best what is in this region. So and here undeniably, clean, beautiful water, beautiful sand. So definitely one of the best beaches here in uh, Mindanao. Could be in Zamboanga, yeah. Over there, many many beautiful places, but in this uh, this region, the Wau region, yeah, Mati, uh, Samal, and this one is uh, totally leaders. Thank <laughs> you. 
break for the pineapple. Ooh, yeah. 50 kilometers left. Good evening. What about piña? How much is piña? Piña. Pineapple. 30 and 30 per kilo, sir. 30 per kilo, yeah. Okay, yes. I'm gonna check. Give me a check. Okay, do you have a knife? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's make it. Yeah. Let's open it. From which place this uh, pineapple is coming from? Melinda. Durian, nobody sells durian here. No, no season. More no season, yeah. Well, soon is gonna be back. August, September. August, yeah. yes, sir. How much is typical durian in this place? How much you sell? Uh, 80 per kilo. <laughs> How much is this one? 150. 150 each uh, button. It's even if it's green, it stays sweet, yeah? Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Small one. The small one. Kani, ano ni nga, ano? Ano ni nga? Very small one. F2. Yeah. And we open also... We're going to try this one. Try this one. Both of them. You will open Yeah. I'm gonna compare. I wanna see which one is better one. Ah, okay. Okay. Kiluasa. Only have a bit of fish here. Open it separately. Well, yeah. Tuna. Yeah, we're still in the region of ginseng, so tuna is here. Okay. Which fruit is your favorite then? Mangosteen. Mangosteen. Good one, yeah. What about durian? Yeah, I like it. So which one I eat? Let me guess, Puya. Yeah. No? Good. Rancilio? No. Also good? No? Puya the best. We oh, yeah, the best, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You like durian? Well, yeah, I love durian. My favorite is uh, duyaya. Oh. Tuna camps. Well, yesterday I was in Jensan. So much tuna. Tuna capital. Yeah. Jensan is the tuna capital of the Philippines. Where are you going after this? I'm gonna go Somal, then to Mati, and then to Shergao, I guess. Yo, Shergao. You. You're riding motorcycle? Yeah, you see. Already done today, how much? 120, 180 kilometers already I'm done today. Oh, have you went to Dabo Oriental? Yeah, yeah. I spent Dabo oh, four months, yeah. But you know. in Mati? No, Mati not yet. Maybe next month. Very good beach in Mati in Dahikar. Have you Dahikan, been in the Wagwag yeah. Falls? The Wagwag Falls, have you been there? Which one falls? Mati uh, Ildava Oriental. Hmm. Okay, let's try this one now. Then I will also so, open yeah. this one. This one, which is what I think this one? F2. F2, and this is going to be. NG3. NG3, okay, uh, let me see. Yeah, good. So it's uh, over, over ripe. No, it's well ripened. You don't eat green green pineapple. Your kids? Yeah. Beautiful ones. What about healthy food? What kind of healthy food? 
healthy food in general are you are looking for healthy food do you want to be slimmer uh, is this. it important for you ah uh, this ano pineapple one of the healthy food no i wouldn't say that pineapple is healthy so much sugar but you see yeah. i'm tired from the road so i eat that but it's not so. healthy definitely it's, it's kind of a snack Healthy food is something like a malonga and so on. Ah, okay. So what about you? Is it is this is important for you in your life? Eat healthy food. Yeah. I love to eat vegetables. Okay. Especially those leafy vegetables. Which are uh, sleepy ones, yeah. Nice like to see this. Come on, tops here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you eaten that? Very little. Tops, well, I guess uh, I haven't been eating yet, yeah. Mainly I go by cabbages, pumpkin, carrots. But the problem is too much chemicals, difficult to find uh, veggies which is clean and organic one. Mm, like, I, me, I have my, uh, no, my backyard garden in my... Beautiful. Well, in Europe, it's very popular. Many, many people have backyard gardens. Here's not that typical. I don't buy any vegetables at the market. I just have my own garden in my house. Beautiful. That's correct. How's going? It's going good today. Yeah. Yeah. Enough, yeah. 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 Yes. Brothers and sister, yeah. 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 Beautiful couple. The older one That's is the boy. Yeah. yeah. So how old are you? Also four. Yeah. And the boy? Five. Five. Okay. Good guys. How long have you been here in the Philippines? One year already. Yeah, this is definitely very good. Sweeter than the Efto. It's not just a sweet, it's a, it's complicated with taste. Uh. It's a rich taste. It's good. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take this bite. Ooh la la. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four sacks. Yeah? A little tuna. Yeah? Okay. See you, see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, guys. See you, see you.
some uh, fish for the evening. One small tiny one. Just from Jensen. Yeah, you're you're from Jensen. Jensen. Welcome to Little City. Yeah, hey, hey, my friend. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hey. Good evening. I'm, I'm your very, very beautiful friend. Huh? Nothing no much problem. left. Hello. See, I still get small fish for me. Hello. I'm going to check the veggie section. Maybe we can have some veggies still. Okay. So no veggies today for me, but we're too late. City, but that's okay. And this little friend is gonna be for tomorrow. I'm gonna check it out. Now I guess I'm gonna boil a little bit of fish. But if you compare Mati and uh, Gumasa, Mati, Mati is better, yeah? Yes. Yeah. What do you think? Beaches. Mati. Be? Yeah. White sand, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's open ocean, of course, it's clean. Yeah. Well, a little bit beautiful avocados. Pineapple avocados. And then I have a fish in the grill. And it's very rare occasion when I do that, but it was uh, available in grill. So it's looking okay. Let's go for it. Barut. 